Oh! Is that what it is? Okay. Now... Why is this not working? Is there a reason it's not working? Why am I an idiot? Am I missing something? I remember last time I was struggling with this. Okay, one more time. Let's go up one more time. I just want to... Oh, <laughs> bye-bye, guys. Oh, hello. Is there anything here that could potentially help us? Yes, no, maybe. Doesn't look like it. We can't jump down there because we'll break our legs. It's possible the gravity could be different on this planet. Okay, why could I run around just now but not now anymore? <sighs> um, I don't know. I am lost, I'm confused. Oh, mount this. Okay, there we go. Uh, Probably have to cut all of this, unfortunately. Okay, um, we're back. I should have just climbed into the Mako. I bet you a bunch of you guys are screaming like, "No, oh, get into Mako!" Really? Are you that daft? Oh my goodness! Yep, okay, so we are back in business. I feel like a complete freaking idiot. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, I thought I saw something there. Whoops. Yeah. Oh. Haha, <laughs> missed me. Okay, there we go. Okay, this is some kind of shield we're not gonna get through. It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush. It's a trap! Okay. Go do that. We will What the hell? Oh, we're blocked in. Right, let's move ahead. I can't believe it was me to just get into the macro and then everything will be done. What the hell? Oh wow, that's a lot of pods. Uh huh. Especially that stupid politician. Let's go say hi to, to Vigil. You are not Prothean. But you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Uh huh. Like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. Yeah. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. Still hope for what? 
How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. Ah, my smart. Name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Uh, all right. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. Ah. Oh. But the Citadel is a trap. It's a trap! The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel Relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. We won't stand a chance. We wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Oh, huh. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. All of you? Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Oh, that sucks. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. Oh. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control, taken in as refugees by other Protheans. They betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. Uh, okay, how can I stop them? For a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small-scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. Oh. The conduit's not a weapon. It's a backdoor into the Citadel. Go on. Next. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. Oh. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. So you just did? Should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. So none survived? There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You betrayed them. We programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. Oh. I didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Oh.